Somnia prepared an inspired dish in the adjacent kitchen, in eager anticipation for the client to wake from their repose. Slowly, Marcella rose from the bed as the incense fizzled out to a small ember. <gasps> You're awake. How are you feeling after your nap? Um, hungry. That's to be expected. Fortunately, we've prepared a dish specially for you. If you would please follow me back to the front. Wow, I need to go to one of these places. Oh, this is delicious. Yep, you're eating your own worries. You know, when I took that nap earlier, I actually had what felt like a most wonderful whimsical dream i don't remember much of it now but there were bits and pieces oh no i'm gonna be late ah uh, you know what if today's visit had told me anything i think it's that i should take a day off to rest <laughs> the flower shop can go without me for a day <laughs> Rather than focus on trying to keep up, I honestly ought to step back and see if I can get help from my siblings with these tasks. It's the silliest thing. I even dreamed of a messy tea party and that my siblings were cleaning up the mess. <gasps> but it's true, they've grown up to be very capable. I think they might be able to help around the house in the floral shop. I just need to clean my room. Well, I should be going. Thank you so much for your services. Phew! All in a day's work. Right, Remy? It's funny, Marchio reminded me of a little of you working a little too hard at times. You owe to take a card from Marchio's book and take it easy. Have some fun now and then. I think you have enough fun for the both of us. Don't tell me you didn't have fun in that dream. The cute bunnies? Cooking up a yummy new dream dish? It's been dreadfully long time since we've had a client. While I can't say the same about the cute bunnies, I do have to agree that the dream dish was quite good. Huh? Do I by a smile turning the corners of your mouth? W what? I do. You really liked the dish, didn't you? Uh, of course. What's not to like about a dream dish? It's been quite a... It's been quite some time since I've indulged in one. <sighs> it takes me back. It's been five years since Miss Nemo disappeared. Hmm. Starting the morning dish... Uh, starting in the morning with a dish like this, it reminds me of when she would prepare fruit slices before opening. Y you remember something like that? Of course, the way you plated the fruit slices on the client's dish is just like how she did it. Uh, I suppose it is, isn't it? Does Somnia really not remember? Starting the day with small delights from our mentor only ever brightened up my day. I suppose I'm glad it reminded you of her, if only for a bit. A little bit. You two were close, weren't you? It's only natural you pick up some of her tendencies. R right. For the usual bubbly somnia to fall silent. Well, it was certainly a rare sight to behold. And Remory quickly took note. Providing comfort was far from Remory's forte, but seeing Somnia so unusually despondent kindled a flame of determination within her. Somnia. 
We agreed to watch the store and wait for her, right? It's our duty to keep the store as warm and welcoming as it was before she left. I know it's hard to play the waiting game, but let's get to work for the day that she'll return. Until then, don't worry, you're not alone. I'll always stay by your side. <laughs> How beautiful. <laughs> Remy, you're such a charmer. Ahem. Oh, you're blushing. Soms, please. We need to get the store ready. Whatever you say, Remy. Chattering away, the dream eaters gathered their bearings for the start of another day. Another day, another chance to see their mentor. That is actually kind of sad. With that hope in their hearts, the two open up a store, uh, open up shop, and await the return of their old friend. And so, Cafe Nima resumed its day to day business, providing dreamy dishes to those whose hungers wish to be sated with delectable treats. And those whose who wonder with dreams composed of worries, fears, and woes will provide the same satisfaction to the dream eaters. Nice, I really like that. Got myself a paper clip. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Story of a pitch queen, GB, day of one of the. so cute. Hmm. See you next time. Yeah, okay, so that was um Dreamy Cafe. I think that was what it was called. Dreamy Cafe Dream. Oh, let me just see what, the, what it's called again. I don't remember, but I think it was Cloudy Cafe something. Cloudy Dream Cafe? Dreams at Cloudy Cafe. Yeah, that's right. Um, Yeah, that was surprisingly good. I was very satisfied with that game. Like, I feel like um, it was very good. I really liked the um, the whole story. It's so refreshing and like how they get the ingredients. It's so creative and um, kind of like refreshes me as well while <laughs> I'm playing it. And um, I feel like it cured my insomnia. <laughs> as well um, because I've been having trouble with insomnia too and I feel like um, it's very therapeutic and very interesting and um, it wasn't dark not like my usual dark twist um, but I do I do have a wish though I kind of wish there is like a continuation to this um, story like I'm so curious where is um, where is where, what's her name again 
Miss Nemo. Yo, where is the um, the owner of the shop? Like, where has she's where has she gone? It just makes me really wonder ab about a lot of things. Like, has she gone to another cloud land, or did she like want? <laughs> did she get like sucked in another dream world and like couldn't get out of it? Or like, I had a very sad thought. Like, maybe she just got lost in a dream world and never came back or what exactly happened to her or did she just not like what they're doing like she found out what they were doing and she didn't like it so she didn't come back or did she open another shop or with a even bigger like dream cafe so <laughs> it, gave, it gave me a lot of questions and um yes they talked a lot referring to to the owner of the sh shop um, they were like oh many years ago she would she would do these cute things and make the shop really nice looking so since the character of Nemo is so heartwarming and so kind I can't think of any like reason why she would leave without telling them which is something i'm really really curious about and i really hope there is like a like a continuation to this game like i really want to know like um why did she leave because if she was so kind to them if she was so close to them why didn't she why did she leave without telling them was it because of an accident um yeah it leaves me so many questions but yeah that's it for um cloudy Dreamy dreams at Cloud Cafe and I'll see you guys in the next video.